Good Saturday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current conditions outside. And as you can see, we've got patchy fog around some of the areas around the county. Otherwise, it is clear. Temperatures right now, 38 degrees in East Spencer, 36 degrees in Salisbury. We've got 39 in China Grove and 45 down in Eagleville. Over toward uh, the eastern part of the county, we've got some 39s uh, and just really between 30s and mid 40s, depending on where you are around the county, there are some pockets of warm air that are trying to make their way back into the county. And we will warm up today compared to what we've seen over the last uh, couple of days. Let's take a look now at the radar. And you can see our next cold front is actually just to the northwest of the area. It's up and moving through the Ohio Valley area right now. That line right there kind of indicates where the cold front is. It'll continue to kind of drift south and east as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. And as it does, it will increase our rain chances late on Sunday. And we'll talk more about that in just a few moments. Let's go ahead and turn off the radar and we'll turn on the uh, the colors so you can see the temperature gradients around the area. And as you can see, there's that cold front again, pretty defined area there between that dark green and the more uh, lighter shade of green there as we get in closer to home. There you see we've got some 30s and 40s around the area, depending on where you are. This is just colors. There's no, no numbers up there or anything. We'll go ahead and turn this back off now and turn the model fill on because the temperatures are going to be the key for us again today. Uh, but this time, instead of staying uh, kind of chilly, we're going to warm up. So this is as of 7 a.m. this morning, and you can see again, 30, upper 30s, low 40s, mid 40s around the area. As we head hour by hour, this is now 8 a.m. We are in the uh, low to mid 40s. By 9 a.m., we're in the uh, mid 40s, maybe upper 40s around the county, getting into the 50s by around 10 a.m. <clears throat> by 11, we are now into the low 60s. This is now 12 p.m., still in the low to mid 60s. This is by 1 p.m., I'd say mid to upper 60s at this point. By 2 p.m., still in the mid to upper 60s. By 3 p.m., still in the mid to upper 60s. By 4 p.m., we're going to start to transition back the other way because the sun will start to go down. And we're probably going to be still around the mid to upper 60s at this point, though. This is now uh, 5 p.m. We're going to have, I'd say, uh, upper 50s to mid 60s around the county, depending on where you are. Now, 6 p.m., everybody pretty much in the mid to upper 50s. 7 p.m., I'd say low to mid 50s at this point. <clears throat> By 8 p.m., still in the low to mid 50s. 9 p.m., probably in the low 50s at this point. By 10 p.m., we've got some upper 40s, low 50s around the county. This is now 11 p.m., uh, upper 40s, low 50s. And then by midnight, still kind of some upper 40s and low 50s. So let's go ahead and talk about the weather impacts and what you can expect uh, as we move through the day. And we'll pull that up for you now. So let's see, the weather impacts are sponsored by Patterson Farms Incorporated. The greenhouse is open and it'll be open through December 23rd. You can uh, go in Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to midday. 12 p.m. in other words, and buy your poinsettias, any other uh, flowers that you might be trying to decorate with for, for the Christmas season. And again, they are open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturdays. And they also have a fundraiser going on with the poinsettias as well. It's going to be available on their website. I've got information at rowancountyweather.com. You can click on the Patterson Farms uh, banner like you see here at the bottom of the page. It's located at the top of the home page on rowancountyweather.com. It will take you directly to that information about their fundraiser and also how you can purchase poinsettias. So the skies today will be sunny during the daytime hours. Winds are going to be calm. And as we head into the evening hours, you'll see some increasing cloudiness and we'll go into partly cloudy skies as we move through the evening hours. <clears throat> excuse me, the five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today we'll see sunny skies with a high of around 70 degrees. We'll see increasing cloudiness to partly cloudy skies as we head to the evening hours low of 44. On Sunday, we've got mostly cloudy skies with a high of 65. That cold front we talked about will start to creep through the area as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. Rain chances will actually increase a little bit by late evening. I'd say a 30% chance of rain 
I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans because to be honest with you, the rain is probably going to come through <clears throat> closer to midnight, maybe even during the overnight hours. And we'll drop down to 46 degrees with mostly cloudy skies Sunday evening. On Monday, a little bit cooler, sunny skies high of only 61. We'll see clear skies Monday evening right around that freezing mark, 32 degrees. On Tuesday, we'll see partly sunny skies with a high of only 56 degrees. But by Tuesday evening, we've got some increasing cloudiness with a low of 37 and mostly cloudy skies Tuesday evening. Our, warm, our next warm front is going to be starting to come through uh, during the overnight hours, Tuesday into Wednesday. And that's actually going to warm us up for Thanksgiving to where if you're planning on having some outdoor lunches or dinners for socially distant opportunities and keep everyone safe, I'd say you've got some good opportunities there. We'll talk about Thanksgiving uh, later today, but uh, just to give you a heads up, we're looking at temperatures in the mid 60s and a 30% chance of rain early, probably during the breakfast time hours. And then after that, Thanksgiving is going to be golden to where if you did want to plan to eat outside or something like that, you certainly could do that and be just fine. We'll see uh, mostly cloudy skies on Wednesday with a high of 61 and rain chances move in Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening with a low of 48. We've got a 40% chance of rain. Now remember this weekend or anytime really, if you're out and about and you want to do some Christmas shopping or anything like that, remember to visit local this holiday season. Our friends at Euro Ann can keep you up to date on that. You can visit their website actually by going to the forecast page at www.roancountyweather.com. Click on that visit local band or image like you see here. It'll take you directly to their website and give you all the information about what's going on around the county this holiday season. And we'll certainly keep you updated on our social media platforms as well. If you're looking for ways to stay up, updated with Rowan County weather, you can visit us anytime on our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. And if you have social media, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And if you know someone who does not utilize social media or they just don't have the internet, but they do have cable TV, they can check us out on WSRG TV in Salisbury. That is available on Hotwire Channel 394 and Spectrum Channel 16. And we'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Saturday, and as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.